Welcome to a guide on how to get good at minstrel. The minstrel is a beautiful butterfly that needs to be allowed to fly freely in the winds of Middle Earth. With their amazing songs and melodies, they bolster their allies' morale and they are vital to any group's success. The main role of a minstrel is to be a rock star. But also to heal their allies in battle. They can also take on more of a support role by going yellow light. You can also deal decent damage in red line. Your superiority as a class will be showcased in raids all the time. The leader will give you lead and say that you can swap yourself for anthems. But he is just saying that so the other classes don't get jealous. He gives you lead because you are the leading and most superior class in the game. A minstrel can be called the backbone of any fellowship because without a good healer you cannot get anything done. Most minstrels go as far as to say that without them there would be no Lord of the Rings online. Here is what the world looks like with minstrels. Here is what it looks like without minstrels. A good minstrel can always be seen spamming all their healing skills and then posting their super high pass after. If someone dies because all your healing skills are on cooldown you can just blame the stupid borning in the group. If there is no borning in the group you can alternatively blame the debuffs or the off heals. Both are good options. If you decide to play a minstrel you must understand that you are the core in any fellowship and the world revolves around you and you alone. This is what a lot of people think healing on minstrel is like. This is what healing on minstrel is actually like. There are many discussions on which race you should choose as a minstrel. It is time to end this discussion by showcasing the reaction to each man. High Elf Dwarf Stout Axe Elf Hobbit Hobbit is clearly the best choice. A minstrel is such a nice person that they can force people to dance in joy. They can also feign their own death in front of their loved ones. Aren't they the sweetest? They can play a multitude of instruments. But most minstrels choose the bagpipes since they are the most pleasant to listen to. You may also teach other people to play instruments, and once again most minstrels for this go for teaching the pibgorn. The main reason for that is that it sounds like pigborn and that is funny. Hee <laughs> hee. A minstrel can also play their beautiful anthems to boost their allies' strengths and they can give them protective bubbles for protection. All in all the minstrel is one of the best classes to play in Middle Earth. They are such a good class that they even have a skill named after the final season of Game of Thrones. Here are some tips on dealing with the other minstrel wannabe classes in Middle Earth. Borning The Borning is your sworn enemy. A Borning may often say that you can go yellow and that they will solo heal. This is disrespectful to your integrity as a main healer. Never will you understand how a near extinct animal is considered to be a healer. A good practice is to find some innocent Bornings wandering around and do what needs to be done. If you ever receive a tell from a Borning to join a group you should immediately block this person and move on with your life. 
they are so bad that they need raid white heals to compete with you, which means you are still the superior healer. They can't even control who they target to heal and you will sometimes see the silly bear healing LM and Captain Pets. If you really want to make fun of a bear you should ask him to revive a full raid after you all have died. Laugh as he waits for his 20 second cooldown revive skill. Haha. <laughs> This animal healer only has one bubble compared with your many bubbles. Once again you reign supreme. DPS class is used to love you for your boosting anthems, but now for some reason they seem to love this animal pretend healer more. All of these reasons means the bear will forever be your sworn enemy. Burglar. Another laughable excuse of a class. Most of the times you can't even see this class as they appear to disappear from thin air. They are even useless at DPS. Let's compare the time it takes for you to kill something compared to the burglar. You one second. Burglar 10 seconds. Sometimes they will sneak up on you and make you sneeze. You do not like this. The bottom line is that burglar thinks that he can heal the group and takes pride from doing so. He is an idiot for thinking this and should stick to keeping debuffs on mobs to make your job more comfortable. Not that you need any help though. Captain. Captain is your one true love in Middle Earth. When you play your songs for him those green numbers just go off the charts. Every minstrel's dream is a raid with 11 yellow captains and no bornings. The captains can rotate their healing banners and keep up all their buffs to make. Your heals look even better than the already incredible level they are at. The only thing a captain needs to be careful with is to not use the revealing mark, your healing is all that is needed. If you play minstrel and own a forum account, make sure to post every day that they should buff captain tank more. This will help your healing and make you feel great. Also don't forget to mention that they should nerf borning. Deleting borning is also a viable option. Champion. What is the purpose of champion? They are vicious creatures who heal from killing enemies. You are against such violence and you don't really like champions. They also seem to be best friends with enemy borning. Champion can also pretend to be a tank and ask you to heal them, but you do not like this. They have their own bubble which is disrespectful to your bubbles, and you love your bubbles. Most of the times the champion will go sheing sheing and everything will attack them and you will have to once again save their life. It is very tempting to not heal the champion, and then blame the borning for not healing enough as this will please you when the raid leader yells at the bear and kicks them. Guardian. You really wish that the guardian would just delete and make a captain instead. Nonetheless they do exist and you will have to heal them from time to time. The Guardian can be very disrespectful using their catch a breath skills to show their distrust in you as a healer and this will make you very angry. The worst betrayal a Guardian can commit will be showcased right now. If a Guardian is about to die and it is your time to shine, so you use your guaranteed crit and prepare to use your amazing healing and then the Guardian uses betrayal's heart to full heal making your heal useless. If the Guardian betrays you like this you are of course allowed to curse in chat and then drop group. Hunter. What is a hunter? The answer is stupid. The following story is based on actual events. A typical situation will be you healing your tank and then the hunter is taking damage and you target them to heal them only to find that they are 40 meters away from you using their pew pew skills. In this situation it is perfectly acceptable to let said hunter perish in brutal fashion as they deserve everything they are getting. The hunter also has a skill called blood arrow which is a healing skill and this is a big insult to you as a healer. They also really seem to like your enemy borning and this makes you dislike them. They also have a silly bubble called cry of the hunter, so you need to make sure the only cry of the hunter that happens is them dying when they are out of range of your heals. You should never have to move to the hunter to heal them, it is their job to move to you. Law master. Another pretend healer class. At least they debuff enemies, making your job easier. Not that you need it. There aren't many reasons to hate the Law Master as they are only pretending to be healing with their water heal and beacon of soap. The Law Master should never ever use the spirit reflect on a target as it is not needed if you are in the group. Your healing is enough. 
there is still one massive reason to hate a lawmaster. The following events are based on a true story. Viewer discretion is advised. Ever since that day when the Lawmaster magically summoned your sworn enemy the Borning out of thin air. The Lawmaster is now your second most hated enemy. Minstrel. As a minstrel you don't really have any relations with other minstrels other than the odd ones you see on landscape. You have respect for them. But you do not actively mingle with them. In groups you will almost never see another minstrel and on the rare occasion that you see one. You both keep to yourself. You both know that you are the superior class in this game and there are no words needed to clarify that. Rooney Keeper Another class that think they are better healers than the minstrel. Ha ha. The Rooney Keeper needs to predict who will die with their do not fall. Meanwhile minstrels can revive anyone they want to with their rally. Would you prefer to gamble with people's lives or would you prefer the safe? Hands of a minstrel. Easy choice right. The Rooney Keeper does have some decent healing, but they are nothing compared to you. Their healing is slow and boring, while the Minstrel healing is fast and exciting. There is one secret. A dark secret that you must never tell anyone. You are envious of the Rooney Keeper's bubbles. They look nice. At the end of the day you are just superior with your strong healing and also good support, which the Rooney Keeper severely lacks. Just another class that you've left behind in the dust, Warden. This so-called tank class is mainly seen filling the damage role these days. There was a time when you would be impressed by a good Warden, chaining their gambits and keeping themselves alive with their life drains and heals. This time is no more. This class is a silly excuse of a class and maybe sometime they will use their conviction heal randomly and that is a great insult to you as it is not needed. They can also be really annoying when they demand you to use call to greatness to make their damage higher and they will also demand you to use your light mitigation debuff this is wrong you are a healer not a buff stick for the warden that concludes my guide on how to get good at minstrel if you follow these tips you will surely become a better minstrel don't forget to like subscribe and join my discord server thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one